Hello everybody, it's time for another thing a week. I'm here with Dylan McGeorge and we're here at Archery Learning Center right in the middle of a new build out. I have Jim Dooley and Glenn Rodrigue over there. They're doing all the work while we play and make thing a week videos. Today we're gonna work on grip pressure. Joe Burt from Archery Talk, we're using your uh, question about grip pressure and you win a Last Chance Archery hat. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the target and I'm going to go through how to direct the grip pressure, how to get your hand in the bow, how to line that up with the target, and it's going to be a two-part series. We're going to use the new Sugru grip material from Lancaster Archery Supply and I'm going to build up a grip and show you guys how to do that. It's really cool and the stuff is awesome. So we're going to go down to the target and go through this and try to get away from the noise a little bit. So uh, stick with us and we'll show you what to do with your grip. I have my bow and I'm gonna go through the procedure to get your hand in the bow. All right, so the way this works, the first secret that I can tell you is when you put your hand in the bow, make sure that your hand is relaxed as you put it in the grip. If your hand is hard and you scrub that into place, you'll end up building up what I call skin-generated torque. You can get the skin kind of twisted underneath the grip, and then the minute that the release aid opens, the bow will turn. So you can have that shot that looked like it was perfectly centered, but boom, it hits to the left or hits to the right, depending on how you put your hand in the bow. So the secret of what you're looking for here is to have the flat part of your hand flat with the grip and flat with the target. That's the feeling that you're looking for when you're at full draw. Now another thing is you want to make sure that the this line here, like here and here, you put your grip in the center of that. So the best way to find that is to put your hand flat to the floor, relax your fingers and keep your thumb and forefinger open. Then you'll put that in the grip throat like this and then break your wrist until it rests evenly over the entire grip surface. Now a little trick that you can do, when you shoot your bow and then look at your hand, you'll be able to see a line in the grip. And I'll be able to show you that when Dylan demonstrates in a minute, I'll be able to show you what that line looks like. If that line begins to look a little cloudy, you have inconsistent hand placement. If the line is very sharp on your hand, that means you're very consistent and you have a good, solid, consistent grip placement. Okay, so here's what it looks like when you put it in the bow. So essentially what I'll do is I rest my bow kind of up on my leg like this, and I'll hook the release on the string and get my fingers in the release the way that I want them to be, again, holding my hand very soft. Then I'm gonna lightly reach up here with my hand and put it in the grip the way that I want it to be. So with a little pressure in the grip, I'll put just a little pressure with the release, then I can raise the bow up and draw back. So I'll have Dylan demonstrate so you can see what that looks like in action while he's shooting the bow and uh, you'll get an idea of what a great grip looks like and one that's easy to reproduce. So here I am with Dylan. He's gonna load his bow here, go through the procedure in normal, real time, and then I'm just gonna sort of narrate what it is he's doing as he's moving forward, so go ahead. Oh, hold on just a second. Do that again, did you see that? That arrow twirl coming out of the quiver? You're not pro until you got the arrow twirl. So go ahead, one more time, whoop, there it is, okay. <laughs> So here it is, he's gonna put his release just like I showed you, and his hand is very relaxed, knuckles at a 45 degree angle to the grip here, as you can see. He'll apply pressure to the grip, again, to get the shoulder in the right spot, then he'll raise the bow up and draw. So the hand and thumb are still open here, and he's got the flat pressures lined up with the target. So we'll give you another angle from this side over here. Again, relaxed. He's gonna put his hand in the grip there. Open the hand up there, everything is relaxed. He'll set it in place, then he'll draw the bow.
Now, notice that he places his hand in the bow and from that point it doesn't move. The kiss of death when you're trying to be as accurate as you can be indoors is constantly editing your hand position as you raise it up to the target. You have to set your hand position here and then leave it the same all the way up. Let's have a look one more time. Now Dylan, take your finger sling off and show everybody what the inside of your hand looks like. You see that grip position right there? You can see a definite line right there through his hand. The grip doesn't cross onto this area here. That is a good grip placement that you're looking for right there.